Hello guys, uh, we are continuing with our Flutterflow lesson. So today we are going to create a project. Uh, first of all, we are going to use collections. We are going to use collections, create collections, I'm sorry. So uh, our last lesson, we have created users collection where we set it up um, the registration and everything. And today we are going to continue with the collections. So before we start everything, we need to create a database. We need to create a backend because frontend cannot work with back without backend anyway. So we have to create it first. And on Dribble, I found the design here. I hope uh, YouTube is not going to block my video because of that. I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna leave the what's it called the link in the descriptions if you will need this design. But here is very easy uh, but we are going to delete this page we're not going to build it why because with uh, flutterflow does not have any audible systems and video so and we are not going to use stats because again flutterflow doesn't have any graphics the rest of it it's is fine okay so first of all we need to write down uh, what exactly we need on the back end so what we have we have email display name photo Oops. Uh, yes and we have grades we have price availability and so on so let's do it so for users for users we need a name uh, type of a doctor uh, grade uh, price else uh, thing this is it yeah let's check ah the script description yeah, for the user, done. Then we need categories. So it will have a name and image. Then we need, what else we need? Uh, calendar. Calendar date and time okay and chat i mean butterflow has his own chat system so we don't really need to create any chats anything so everything is ready okay done <clears throat> so we get back to flutterflow in collections users we need to create about it's going to be string create uh, type grade and price type string and price price is going to be integer for us okay for the grade system sorry mm, where is that okay for the grade system we need it here grades oh let's call it reviews we're going to have grade uh, review and users ref So then we get categories. For the categories, we need name, string, and we need image. It's going to be image path. All right, so users uh, must be connected with categories. Um, I will try to explain the logic. If you do understand what I'm saying, great. If you don't, please uh, write down a comment. 
ask me, I'm going to reply it. All right. So uh, we have a collection of categories. Uh, it does not connect with anything. Okay, because categories, it's like, it's, it's free, all right? But users are the ones who are connected to categories. So in users, we need to add category because users are connected to categories, not categories to users. So I hope you do understand what I'm saying. And yeah, so record reference, categories, create, done. And now we create uh, no, let's call it reviews. Uh, for the reviews, we uh, write grade. Grade is going to be double. And review is going to be string. So here, reviews are connected to users. Because uh, I'm the user, I'm leaving a review for a doctor, right? So this is created by by a user uh, created at a timestamp, okay. And users like doctors, they're connected to reviews, all right? So I'm the one who's leaving a review for a doctor and doctor is the one who, who keeps that review on in his data. So here as well, we need to create grades or oh, grade uh, record reference reviews. So please, if you do not understand, write it down. I will try to explain to you somehow. I'm not sure how, but I will try to do it. Okay. So uh, what else do we need to do? Calendar. Okay. So um, how do you call it, please? Schedule. Schedules. Created by. So I'm the patient. I want to create um, a meeting with a doctor. Okay. Uh, users. Created at. Timestamp. Um, eight. Going to be also timestamp. And okay. And users have also like doctors. They have their own schedules. So for the doctor, we write schedule or let's say calendar so it's going to be very easy for us this one is connected to schedules if i'm wrong please write it down because i can mess up some things here but while we are going to build everything we are going to delete anything add something anyway because we because backend it's different from the front end from what we are building and sometimes i do mess up with that so please uh, be patient and if i really mess up please write it down let others know that i'm wrong here and if i'm wrong i'm gonna make another video with the um, with the fixes that that are needed to be here i don't know so anyway just write it down so yes, we have created everything. Let's create a very quick front um, authentication page. So no, we are going to create authentication page on the next lesson because right now we need to finish this one because more than 10 minutes is going to be too much for you uh, and also uh, I'll be able to read your comments if you have questions if you don't understand something I'm gonna get back to you reply to you and if you do know how to make all these things I'll be able to fix it in the future in the new lesson 
or I'm gonna make another video where I'm gonna talk to you about why I'm I was wrong in some particular cases okay so please subscribe please uh, like me and like the video and just comment anything you like it or not if anything wrong here all right bye bye guys